Hey guys, so today I'm cutting my hair and I thought this time I'm gonna film it because I always tell you guys that I cut my own hair and you often ask how I do it and honestly it's the quickest thing ever and very happy with the way I do it. If you're a hairdresser, you probably don't wanna watch this video because you'll cringe or it'll just hurt. <laughs> so yeah, my hair's actually got pretty long and it's just annoying me how long it is because I do not have the time right now in my last year of university to be spending ages on my hair. So I'm not going for like a drastic chop or anything. I'm just taking a little bit off. So the past few days I've really wanted to go uber short but I should not do that because it just won't suit me. But I am going to take it back to like a more here length I think. Um, so yeah, on my Instagram I like save a load of inspiration pictures of hair um, and then I kind of go from there. I also just think that I really don't suit long hair. I just think it starts to look a bit ratty and not so nice. I quite like shorter hair. Okay, so I'm going to start out by brushing it through and I use the Tangle Teaser. I think this is called like the wet brush or something, but I just use it as my normal brush. Brush all my hair through. And then with this little teasing comb, I use the other end and I just find my center parting. And brush that down. And then I'll continue the center part all the way down the back. Bring it to the side. And I'll just brush it all towards the front of my head. And the other day I actually trimmed my front bit, so I won't need to be doing those. So this is the little pack I bought ages ago. It's just a little Tresemme cutting do-it-yourself thing. This is not a sponsored video by Tresemme. So it comes with scissors and comb. And then, the, and then the other thing you'll need is like a bit of scrap paper or just something to put over your knees. I'll just put it down here catch all the hair and then you'll just need a hair tie and with my brush I'm gonna brush it all forwards and you're gonna tie like a ponytail underneath your chin it looks very strange <laughs> so I bring all of the hair forwards till it's even <laughs> and this is why I haven't filmed this because I look like a nutter so once that is there, you have this length, and I literally just chop from here, um, however much I want off. If This gives your hair like a scooped look at the back, but if you want, if you have really short hair and you want the other way, then you just tie it as a ponytail at the back, and then the front bits will be longer than the back bits. But I like the sort of scooped look, so I just take it down. And then I just chop and make sure it's nice and flat. And then I just go straight across. You can do it just as easy with dry hair. And with this bit, it's often easier if it's a bit drier, but I'll like spread it out a little bit and just sort of chop into it a bit to give it a bit more, a bit less of a just blunt edge. And then take it out, see if it's going to be the length you want. I think that's short enough for me because when it's dry it will come up a little bit anyway. And then I take one layer off the top. And I'll just tie this at the top for now, and then I'll check it's sort of even down here. Looks even to me. And sometimes I just bring it all up to the side. And put like a tiny layer in the bottom bit just by cutting 
if you hold it out like that and then just cut it straight up gives it a little layer also as you can tell I am not a professional but this is just how I've been doing it for a few years now seems to work for me that's that layer and then I will just tie it to the back and then we're on to the top layer which is more important for layering so I just do exactly the same and bring it all up until I get right to the end and then I'll just cut straight up check it's even yeah as you can tell my hair's kind of already layered a bit um, like the whole length is here and it comes up to here anyway so I don't tend to have too short of a layer and then with this very top part just section that off tie the rest away Ooh. if you want to just make it shorter you can go ahead and do this for the separate layers um, but yeah and that is how I cut my hair and now I have a little pile of hair <laughs> in my paper which you can literally just fold up and it goes in the bin and you have no mess anywhere. So on to blow drying I'm just going to spray some Keratin Smooth Tresemme heat protectant spray all over it. And then this is the hairdryer I use, it's the Babyliss 3Q styler and I just use it on the hotter setting and I sort of do a mixture of brushing through my hair and also just flipping my hair upside down. Um, I'm going to flip it upside down mainly for this video. <laughs> So once I've dried my hair, I then switch it on to the cold setting and just blast my hair with that one for a bit. And to give it a really sleek, um, bouncy sort of look, I straighten it a little bit. These are the Remington Shine Therapy Hair Straighteners. And I've had these for so long. <laughs> but I just have it on 190 and then I spray all of my hair again with heat protectant spray and I just start sectioning off my hair into small sections oh my gosh my hair feels so much better already <laughs> it just feels so much thicker when it's that tiny bit shorter and then when I straighten I use my brush at the same time just to give it even more a sleek look so I just go straight for a few and I also make sure I get this little bit around the ears and then I will curve it under like so and then because you've got all the different layers when you curve it under it gives a really nice effect I'm done with that section so I pin it back and move on to the next. This is just my go-to hairstyle literally every day for you because it's so quick. If I wash my hair the night before and then I'll do this in the morning and then generally the next day I won't have to straighten my hair or I can just run it through really quickly. So super easy. And then with my really short sections at the front, I'll just take them separately and I put them together and then brush through them and just do it as though I have a fringe and I just scoop them down. And then often I will go in 
at the back of my head and just add some volume by back combing. And then if you add a little bit of hairspray and let it sit there for a second and do another layer, then it seems to last a little bit longer. And then I'll just smooth that down a bit with my hairbrush. And there we have it, freshly chopped hair. Nice and clean, nice and shiny, nice and thick feeling. So there we have it, that is how I chop and style my hair. I hope you guys have found this useful. Please do not chop all your hair off and then blame it on me. <laughs> Just remember that I am not a professional. And also remember when your hair is wet, it is a lot longer than it looks when it's dry. So, be careful. <laughs> but yeah, chopping my own hair saved a lot of money because going to the hairdresser is definitely not cheap. So, if you're a student or you just want to save a bit of money, then it's a real good thing to know how to do. So yeah, really hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!